In this issue we will introduce you to one of the most dangerous predators that existed almost 50 million years ago. Hyanodon the Terrible About 30 million years ago, modern Antarctica was unrecognizable. Instead of an ice sheet and large snow hills, the area had the most real summer. Antarctica had the most real thick pine forests. And at this time there were virtually no cold winters in North America. How many animals existed at that time simply cannot be counted. The Oligocene epoch was the reign of such a predator as the Hyanodon. This beast had jaws that could cut through the thickest bone in animals like butter. The teeth of this beast never blunted. They were self-sharpening. Hyanodon the Terrible has existed on the planet for more than 10 million years, while common mammals exist for no more than 5 million. It seemed that such a powerful animal had no equal among hunters. But still, at that time, there were many predators that competed with the Hyanodon. And to begin with, we would like to point out the fact that the modern hyena is not related to the Hyanodon at all. Neither by species, nor by species, nor by classification. In addition to its incredibly sharp teeth, the Hyanodon had a crushing biting power that allowed it to chew bones like simple meat, without taking any extra effort. Yes, this beast was fearsome in every way. Most predators tend to leave large bones and skulls intact when eating their prey. Because they are either afraid of breaking their teeth, or unable to bite through thick bones. In their excavations, scientists found that the hyenodon almost always chewed up the skull of its prey. Or rather, it would shred even the thickest skull into tiny pieces. All of which speaks to the enormous strength and veracity of this predator. Hyanodon could kill a small horse with a single bite. 30 million years ago, animals did not have the intelligence of modern animals. And so, according to scientists, even the Hyanodon could be easily fooled. Because the predator used instincts rather than intelligence. An example of this is that hyenodons did not hunt in packs and were not in social groups. They could not hunt as wolves do. A coordinated pursuit of prey. The hyenodon lacked intelligence for that. To say that this predator was completely lacking in intelligence is impossible. Still, it stalked its prey and waited in ambush. But there is a simple explanation. 30 million years ago, the territory where Hyanodon lived was a real supermarket, or, better to say, a smorgasbord. The number of animals was so great that any predators didn't have to hunt for weeks in search of prey. A few hours were enough to catch some herbivore and dine on it. Subscribe to our channel. Watch our videos, give us a thumbs up and leave comments. Do not forget to check the bell to be the first to see our new and interesting videos. Subscribe to our social networks. Here they all are. And of course, if possible, help our channel with a coin and it will become even more interesting. Links for donations under the video. Well, we continue. The Hyanodon's sense of smell was its most important sense organ. A hyenodon could follow the trail of an animal two kilometers away. And in most cases, it was successful in finding its prey. Scientists also speculate that in pursuit of prey hyenodon cannot apply deceptive movements or act in advance, as do modern predators, lions, cheetahs, and tigers. 
Most likely, it was like a powerful locomotive that overtook some herbivore and simply knocked it down. It is also worth noting that 30 million years ago, no ancient animal had the intelligence that modern animals have now. Often, the hyenodon would sit in ambush and wait for its prey near waterholes. Paleontologists have established the maximum speed of the animal, it was 45 to 55 kilometers per hour. This is the speed of modern predators, the wolf and the hyena. And here is the speed of ancient horses. Hyenodon's potential prey was less, so the prehistoric beast had little trouble catching up with the herbivore. But the main diet of the hyenodon was prehistoric camels. Like horses, they were half the size of our modern two-humped camels. But they ran a little faster than horses. But the hyenodon had no trouble catching up with the animal and knocking it down. And here is another representative of the ancient fauna, the hornless rhinoceros. Of all the animals that hyenodon hunted, the rhinoceros was the largest. And it was much harder to deal with. The predator had to use its intelligence to knock the rhinoceros off its feet. Most likely, the hyenodon tried to bite its hind legs, and its blade-sharp teeth officially helped in this. But if it failed then it had to attack the rhino's sides, and only when the animal began to bleed and get weak did the hyenodon expect a big breakfast, and a hearty lunch, and even a full dinner. But sometimes, after a successful hunt, the hyenodon risked becoming its own prey. His prey could be taken by a stronger and larger predator. It was the Intelodont. The ravenous pig is a walking nightmare for all the inhabitants of the prehistoric world. The ravenous pig usually waited for the hyenodon to catch and kill its prey, so that he could take it and eat it in peace. But Hyenodon went to great lengths to get his food, and he had no intention of sharing it with anyone. Entelodonta was about 120 centimeters at the withers, and weighed 270 kilograms. But the Hyenodont was much smaller. He was 90 centimeters tall and weighed less than 70 kilograms. That's a big difference. The Hyenodon's main advantages were its very sharp teeth. It also ran faster than the Intelodont. But the size of the pig played a big role. Here you can see how the Intelodont was enough to turn its head and strike the Hyenodont sharply, causing the latter to be seriously injured. The Hyenodon lost to the Intelodont, and the prey was the prize for the winner. But Hyenodon still realized that since he was not destined to defeat the adult Intelodont, he could kill the cub. That's probably what he did. If he encountered the horrible pig's cubs in his path. Another enemy of the Hyenodon who claimed a place in the sun. This is the saber-toothed cat, Dinictus. It means horrible marten. Dinictus was one meter long and 60 centimeters at the withers. Each paw had five toes with sharp claws, and the upper jaw had powerful teeth. It may have had long, sensitive whiskers. Dinictus also differed from most saber-toothed felines by its longer tail. From the remains of the saber-toothed cat, it appears that it fell from the fangs of a hyenodon. The impact marks on the skull clearly converged with the teeth of the hyenodon. The saber-toothed cat was faster than the hyenodon and could easily run away from it. Therefore, in this situation, the predator caught the cat off guard. It was busy eating its prey and did not have time to notice its adversary.
20 million years ago, the number of animals that the hyenodon fed on significantly decreased. These animals became larger and faster to run. Another equally serious problem was the development of the hyenodon. At a time when the brains of most animals grew larger over time, the hyenodon's brain remained just as small and barely developed. This problem also undermined the species of this predator. While other animals were developing mentally, the hyenodon was doomed to remain as primitive as it was. One last thing. Another rival of the hyenodon can be rightly considered the amphicionid. The wolf hybrid with a lion-like body was a very formidable competitor. When a small isthmus appeared between Russia and Alaska due to the Ice Age, the amphibianids gradually moved from Siberia to the American continent. The Hyenodon had no chance of winning the battle with the Amphicionid. The Amphicionid was much bigger than the Hyenodon. Stronger and faster. The Hyenodon had to concede both trails and prey when encountering the Amphicionid. As a fact, the Amphicionids wreaked havoc on the demography of the Hyenodon. They wiped out the predator's offspring. The climate of the area where the hyenodons lived was also an important factor. The change in temperature transformed the dense forests into grasslands, and the grasslands into barren deserts. Because of the so-called principle of competitive exclusion and climate change, the hyenodons began to gradually disappear. They were replaced by smarter and larger carnivores like wolves and cats. The Hyenodon Horrible ceased to exist. Thank you for watching this issue to the end. Like it and leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course do not forget to click on the bell to be the first to see new and interesting releases from the channel Real Unreal.